Uh, welcome to uh, to Quantum. My name is uh, Michael Flood, and uh, I'm one of the uh, executive directors here with uh, Quantum Hedge Fund. Um, just wanted to quickly get into and show you guys uh, how a large fund that um, has developed quantitative systems to manage literally billions of dollars, um, how we actually have taken a look at that and have scaled it to, to show certain concepts and principles that can help the everyday trader. Um, and that's something that uh, we have done uh, over the last couple of years. Uh, and we're pretty excited about it. Give you a little uh, background um, uh, with regards to the hedge funds. Um, you may or you may not know uh, there is over two trillion invested in the hedge fund world. Very few of us, and most of us listening, know know very little about them. Uh, it is really a world exclusive to the institutions and the super wealthy. Unless you fall into one of those two categories, your ticket to access is basically unattainable. One of the reasons it is such an exclusive industry is that it truly is run by the brightest minds on Wall Street. And the funds recognized as a, a true hedge fund usually perform extraordinarily well. This in turn attracts the high-end clientele. And due to the performance, the price and the entry just continues to rise each year. Now, I've had the unique opportunity to get to know many of these wealthy clients. Are we still on? I think I lost. Yeah, Michael, we're still here. We can see your screen and we can hear you. So far, so good. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I thought I lost. I thought I lost the screen. Uh, let me get back to it. I'm sorry. Um, I've had the unique opportunity to get to know uh, a lot of these, a lot of these clients, and 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 get get to be entrenched in this world. Uh, and one of the main things that I have learned is that especially from the, the extremely wealthy individuals that are in and out of these funds and gotten to know them and speak with them over the, over the course of the last decade, over a decade, is that the super wealthy generally know what they, what they know. But more importantly, they know what they don't know. And that includes the markets and investing. You'll virtually never see the super wealthy buy into hype or a flashy marketing gimmick. They, they don't chase a hot stock or hot sector or listen to some self-proclaimed guru or TV pundit. And they, they certainly do not attempt to expand their wealth trying to develop their own homemade system. Um, the fact is that this industry, whether you believe it or not, is one to two steps ahead of everybody. As, as soon as the public hears about an opportunity, the institutions and the real funds, the real hedge fund pros, have profited and have taken their clients and have moved on. And little do we know the opportunity that we hear of and are now moving on is merely just the leftover fruit. Now with the quantum approach, we are attempting to change that and, and, and help level the playing field and hopefully give you some insight to the, the psychology of the hedge fund mind and its core investing principles. The quantum hedge fund is a quantitative system that is designed for the everyday investor. The system focuses on procuring high level institutional grade hedge fund research and making it available to the newbie investor and the seasoned investor alike. Now this top tiered unbiased approach studies, analyzes, and most importantly projects performance for equities within the S&P 500. It detects and moves ahead 
of small shifts in the market, delivering precise, real-time research to the investor, to you. Generating fantastic profit potential for anyone's account, no matter how large or how small. Now this information is every bit what the wealthiest clients and the big guys are using. Normally access to this system is reserved for individuals who have at least a million dollars of liquid capital to invest. Now the reason Quantum is now available and able to show the everyday investor what it does is that the system and its research has been scaled down. At the end of the day, after all of the filtrations and after all of the disciplines have been met, the system averages about one to two trade ideas each week. And since you, the investor, maintain and have obviously complete control of your own money and trading accounts, we certainly don't manage your, your money, you're managing it, you are able to implement certain components of this quantitative system to your own investment processes. Again, these trade ideas are generated by a sector leading fund proprietary quantitative model implementing specific algorithms that withstand several levels of filtration to ensure the most accurate research and investment education available. If you do not have the financial profile or means to participate in this hedge fund world, then this is no doubt the next best thing. And it's like nothing you've ever seen before. This real life hedge fund approach it only focuses on the S&P 500. Although complex in nature, the system keeps things very, very simple and adds all the extraordinary circumstances that affect your ability to profit. Now ultimately, your ability to profit is measured by the market participants' interpretations of price. And that ongoing battle between buyers and sellers to determine what price should be. Now these interpretations are being made by the largest institutions to the smallest trader and are based on a variety of variables. And these variables are extensive research, experience, emotions and feelings, impulse, logical or illogical thought, rational or irrational thought. Now these variables of the buy-sell decision-making fall into one calculable metric, and that's price movement dynamic, or what we refer to as PMD. Now by carefully analyzing the PMD along with all its connected supply and demand traits such as range, volatility, volume, etc., we are able to optimize our ability to forecast price points and with that generate massive profits. Now we can assure you that by following along, along today you'll be able to replicate components of this approach immediately and at the very least tighten up your own investment disciplines. Now on the screen, this is a, a basic uh, presentation here um, that I'd like to take you through um, and it deals with our long-term capital growth relative value arbitrage. So we may show you this approach to taking advantage of price differences and imbalances. All 
Okay, my screen will not go to the next slide here. And Michael, I just want to uh, chime in here. It looks like you're not in slideshow mode, and uh, I know this is probably a, a new version of PowerPoint for you. It's right there. Yep. Just click on that. And I'm sorry, guys. It'll break the system. There you go. No, okay. Sorry. I apologize. Now you should be able to click right through it. Sorry for the interruption. Um, so basically, getting back to th th this is this is our 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 our, our presentation where we can show you and how to take advantage of the, the price differences and imbalances. What we'll talk about today um, is basically this is our, our table of contents. Uh, our philosophy, our processes, uh, I'll get into a little bit about the algorithm itself, um, and most importantly for many of you out there, uh, the risk management. Um, we have three risk management principles, uh, market, account, and trade risk that we will talk about as well. Um, you'll definitely be able to learn uh, certain concepts and components that you'll be able to implement to your own risk management. Um, we have an advisory that uh, we can explain some of the characteristics, um, our differentiating factors, uh, and then I can show you some of the historical performance. Um, and we have a, uh, a couple of sample trades that the system has, has done this year um, we can show you. Uh, and also I have a, an Excel spreadsheet in which we can show you a little bit more detail of uh, the equities that we've been involved in and the performance that they've, that they've had. Basically, the system targets returns of anywhere between 12 to 25 percent for every trade that we close. It detects equities with upside potential that will at least meet the 12% return threshold. If it doesn't, it literally goes back into our ranking process, and that's something I'll explain in a minute. Long and short exposures. The quantitative system we implement focuses on long and short with the occasional option overlay. Again, as I said in the intro, only S&P 500 stocks are measured. The system adheres to its principal roots. It is not set up to chase a stock. It is not set up to chase a hot sector, and it certainly is not set up to, to chase any penny stock or any rumor that you may have heard on the street or from your neighbor. Again, the trade frequency is about one to two trade alerts per week. It is not designed for day trading, and it is also not designed for a quick turnaround. We have well over 10 years of research and development which led to the launch of this single proprietary model, along with 45 years of extensive back testing with over 500 positions tested, over 550 months, and 275,000 data points. The quantum advisory is designed to further the market knowledge and education of our members and the people listening uh, through our detailed market research and analysis. Now, many of the principles that we will discuss today are staples in our core trading philosophy. And many of the concepts you'll be able to implement into your own investment process, as I stated before. The quantum philosophy. Quantum, we employ a proprietary quantitative model and systematic research process in a long, short equity framework. For those that are unaware with what a quantitative model is, it is simply a model constructed to measure. In this case, we are measuring the S&P 500. 
Now this model ranks the 500 stocks in the S&P 500 for internal measures of behavioral strength and consistency. The long and short portions, the long portion of this research is constructed by analyzing a basket of the highest rank equities in the S&P 500. Our short portion of the research is constructed by selling short a variable size basket of equities at the, that display the fastest drop in rank. In other words, the system detects the fastest rising and the fastest falling equities in this structured framework in real time. Now based on this data, the construction of the portfolio takes shape. The framework measures to one one hundredth of a penny in lightning fast speeds and the ranking and shuffling is literally in constant motion. Now the systematic process utilizes discipline risk control parameters and rules for trading individual portfolio construction and rotation. For quantum, it looks for entry points that will give us the greatest probability of achieving our minimum gains threshold without exception. And that's a discipline we adhere to regardless. And that's something we believe you can easily implement into your processes today. The individual portfolio construction and rotation employ behavioral finance concepts as risk overlays. Now the system constructs the positions by employing the rankings or the behavior of each equity. Now based on that behavior or based on that ranking, the equities are being rotated and or properly entered or exited. Now the quantitative process or the measuring process. Now these concepts are concepts in which you may follow or you may not, uh, but these are core concepts for our model. Concepts with the model employees to determine rank include or our ranking system. We measure money flow, volume, trading range, trading consensus, the divergence, and the relevance, the relative relevance. Those are six simple concepts. Money flow, very simple. The accumulation and distribution ratios, volume, relative volume, uh, expansion and contraction in our ranges, our range closing levels, our support and resistance levels for our divergence, and dispersion analysis. Each concept you see here has been given a specific value, which is then implemented into the model. Now, I'm not sure if you use any of these concepts to help you with your investing process. If not, these are things we believe will help us, will, will definitely help you, especially once you commit to continually analyzing them. Now, the key unifying components of the measuring process include time cycles, weighting, and data points. The time cycles vary across our ranking criteria. The weightings deal with our parameters, which adjust as a function of, of how the market cycles. And the data points, pretty self-explanatory, the high, low, open, close, and the volume. Now, basically, what we are saying here is based on certain equities rise or fall in rank, the system utilizes time cycles and data points to properly gauge those equities' behaviors and then weights them accordingly. For example, if, say, Gilead Sciences, which happens to be 
a, a higher ranking uh, equity in our system. If Gilead Sciences has consistently been a high ranking equity in the model, but yet shows an uncharacteristic drop in rank, an exit it is not necessarily inevitable. Whereas another equity that has been in and out inconsistently in our rank, in our highest rank baskets, and that shows signs of, of inconsistency, that most likely will be flagged and repositioned or exited. That is one of our, our, our principal cores with how a stock or an equity is, is performing, not necessarily for that day, but for a longer period of time over the course of, of a year or two. Our algorithms, our measuring algorithms, backtesting data to prove the system and our algorithmic viability. Now as the algorithms have been developed and improved upon, we show the average monthly return of the highest ranked selections since 1965 more than double the average monthly returns of the S&P 500 over the same period. More than double. Our research demonstrates a powerful association between the model's rank and future return. A rank return regression of 500 positions over 550 months, or 275,000 data points, demonstrates a powerful statistical or price imbalance arbitrage between the highest ranked selections and the S&P 500. Now, we have utilized robust backtesting methodologies multiple blind, double blind studies were used to eliminate curve fitting. 45 years of market data ensured us a wide gamut of market environments to test through. If you are going to truly test a model, maybe your model, you must test it against all market conditions to truly gauge its viability. I think that goes without saying. Now we carefully accounted for potential selection and sampling biases, including survivorship bias, an attribute bias, and a look ahead bias. Now as the testing phase commenced over several, several months, we accounted for absolutely every stipulation. Our trading mythology. Now based on behavioral science, uh, finance concepts, sometimes we, we refer to it as behavioral science, but behavioral finance concepts this disciplined approach replaces emotional reactions with objective quantitative analysis. This ensures that human emotion does not cloud our timing, the trading, and the capital decisions we make. In other words, we never make a decision on gut feeling. And this falls into three distinct bias categories. A prospect theory. This outlines mistaken psychological inclination to hold losing positions while eagerly selling winning positions. That is clearly not quantitative. This is purely human emotion. We show you how to hold winning positions 
for the long term against the quick liquidation of failing ones. The model is designed to maximize gains and then to mitigate the risk. Now a sunken bias demonstrates the average person's affinity towards certain sectors or certain companies based on past events that encourage excess weightings and or holdings. We rotate and we rebalance the portfolio regularly, establishing equal weighting that best fits our criteria. Now, many people fall in love with certain sectors or, say, certain companies. Um, sectors meaning like a pharmaceutical sector. And the reason for this is they've had success in that sector or they feel they know more about them. It's critical that you weight and balance your portfolio properly. And every big reputable fund adheres to this simple rule. And we see so often with the everyday trader completely going against this simple rule, which puts us obviously at its distinct advantage. The cognitive bias illustrates the tendency of well-informed individuals to consistently do the wrong thing due to under-analysis. Now we mitigate this risk by relying on extensive research. Our discipline ranking and trading guidelines and the avoidance of panic selling or buying into exuberance, which happens all too often with others. Now this behavioral finance concepts or science is a large reason why the everyday trader is at a distinct advantage. I'm sorry, a distinct disadvantage. Now, some of this seems basic in nature. However, investing as a whole is very basic in nature. And so is the psychology. It's when you go several levels deeper into the psychology is when you can see things that others don't. And, develop and, and, and ultimately develop an advantage. We have values, numerical values for the psychological as well as for the psychological and our model reflects those values and is cons consistently shuffling, ranking and those values are part of that entire quantitative system. As I stated in the first page, the, the, the risk side, uh, the three components of, of our risk principles, risk management, our market risk principle. Now we seek to educate you on how to minimize daily volatility and monthly drawdowns during times of market staggeration or major market movements like mid-October of this past year, uh, during that crazy period, due to our market risk principle, I wouldn't be surprised if our fund was the only fund that was up in the country during that crazy time in last mid-October. Uh, employment of a stop-loss mythology in the weekly synopsis given. Now, based on our ranking criteria, we give specific stop-loss parameters. Some have tighter ranges than others, but they are always there. Adjustment of long and short exposure utilizing broad market trends and behavior. Now, as market conditions change, so does our long and short positions. In fact, we predominantly hold long with minimal short, but can easily flip those long short ratios based on conditions that are happening. Disciplined rules identify conditions to increase or decrease short percentage. If our model shows an equity to enter at, let's say, 
let's say it's $55, but yet that equity slips to $45, long-term values usually show to cap cost average down based on strict disciplines that are always followed. Now, in other words, we believe in the equities the system delivers. So when a high-ranking position seems to slip and slip beyond our normal threshold, it not, doesn't necessarily trigger a sell. Portfolio rebalancing to offset natural position variation. Now the market exposure, uh, long short spread balance and position weighting. And normally with this scaled version, this quantum scaled version, we like to hold about 12 positions. Normally about 8 long and 4 short. But as conditions change, we could reweight those positions to 8 short and 4 long or any other variation the market, the, basically the market is telling us what to do. The system is highly adaptable in this regard. We do continuous scenario analysis which, facilita which facilitates refinement and optimization of, the, of our risk management techniques. And this is something that if you're working full time, it might be a little bit more, more difficult to do, but to be a successful trader is something that you have to do at some level. Second level or the second concept of risk management is our account risk and how you and your account risk. Sensitivity to position beta aims to dampen research volatility. Appropriate diversification minimizes basis risk. We rebalance so the, for, the portfolio is representing different sectors as we spoke about earlier. And the weighting is, there's somewhat of, a, of an equal weighting balance depending on, on our rankings. Now adherence to discipline use of stop losses and price objectives per position is extremely important. Event stops, price stops, important are trailing profit points. I'm sure many of you uh, implement this strategy, but percentage thresholds are based upon both quantitative trigger points and qualitative reevaluation scenarios. As our equities climb Profit points are automatically implemented to mitigate risk. This is something that the everyday trader should implement. Again, um, if you don't have a, a, a lot of time, this is something that the equities that you are holding, uh, you definitely want to dive in and review and, and analyze their historical patterns so you can better understand uh, how to place trailing profit points. Systematic volatility stops. Very important. Very important. 2% drawdown triggers comprehensive monitoring and analysis with our equities. A 4% drawdown triggers an in-depth portfolio, portfolio review and liquidation of the weakest positions. Now that might seem tight, but let me explain. A 2% drawdown automatically triggers analysis of that equity. Depending on rank and historical behaviors, that equity may be exited, especially if the drawdown has taken place in an equity that has recently risen into the top of the ranking and has not been a staple at the top, but has recently risen. These type equities do not have the historical behavior or the historical value in rank to hold for us to hold a position. However, a long-standing equity 
with high ranking characteristics will be held unless it reaches the 4% drawdown threshold, which then will trigger a portfolio and position review and could result in liquidation of the weaker position. For instance, if, say, a high-ranking equity would be a Chipotle, and Chipotle has been a high-ranking equity in the system for three years, and Chipotle reaches a 2 to 4% drawdown, which triggers our systems to flag. Because it has been such a high-performing equity for the fund for over the course of however many months, then that equity might be given a pass based on its historical values and the numerical and the numerical value that we place based on how many months it has been at the top of the ranks. Which leads us to our third risk management principle, and that would be trade risk. Discipline trading mythologies and risk control measures seek to minimize potential drawdowns and position volatility. Now, volatility bands are utilized to determine technical low risk entry points where risk reward probabilities are highest. So to quantify price action, volatility bands for those of you who don't know, are indicators that allow for volatility and price levels to be compared over the course of time. Now, entry and exit parameters are optimized in hopes to maximize our objective return versus our stop loss ratios, which is above three to one. Our risk overlays seek to mitigate basis risk such as significant news events or, or company catalysts that may adversely affect the expected return. For instance, like an earnings report or an earnings announcement. An equity option overlay may be shown to provide an additional hedge by capturing a return on equity specific volatility as well as mitigating the gap risk. We usually implement an option strategy around a company's uh, earning announcements. Now, the qualitative research aims to identify information that may not be reflected in a historical price data or any sort of numerical mathematical measuring that we can do. So we add a specific our own specific numerical value to qualitative research. This qualitative research is also placed, again, with a value. This allows for, our, for qualitative change, which is important, especially in the quantum portfolio and the curriculum we put out. Again, this happens with each and every equity. Uh, if you don't have time to do that, that's understandable. However, the, the, the equities you choose to put your hard-earned money into, the qualitative research is something that cannot be ignored. Trading the S&P 500 equities ensures, all the, ensures liquidity and complete transparency. So it's all there right in front of you. The advisory characteristics, uh, again, as we talked about, we seek to hold about 12 positions. This scaled version of the system is not identifying 50 different equities at once. It is not day trading. This is, a, this is a, an approach that is chess, not checkers. Only S&P 500 equities are published, full scalability no capacity restraints, no leverage on the long side, 
minimal monthly alerts, limits trading costs and slippage. And that goes, that's easy to understand. Winning positions aim to be held long term to achieve long term capital gain treatment. Our system will let a winning position run while, while, while some in individuals might have a 20 to 30 percent, whatever the, 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 the percentage might be where they sell, our system is monitoring that market in nanoseconds and literally will let every equity run right to, the, to, to, to generate as much profit as we can. And this is basically based on the behavioral science we talked about on slide, back on slide number five. Now the losing positions are shown to be liquidated quickly uh, via our tight stop loss rules. Now our differentiating factors, more of a summary. We have a full proprietary quantitative process novel and exclusive ranking system which provides sustainable arbitrage and robust risk return profiles. It's been tested and optimized for risk controls. This refers back to our 45 years of back testing with 500 positions, 550 months and 275,000 data points. It's a unique combination of risk management techniques the three techniques we talked about, stop loss procedures, which limit our monthly drawdowns and volatility. It's the ongoing research, simulation, and development. This being an adaptable model, which offers the ability to perform in changing markets. This is important because the market changes day to day, if not at, at this level, changes minute to minute in the constant pursuit of expansion versus any sort of reversion. This is an interesting chart that we wanted to show you. 19, I think 1967 is the first year uh, where you can generate any sort of historical data uh, that's been recorded with the S&P 500. Uh, this chart is, is a, just a very brief snapshot of our back testing, um, but just to keep it as, as easy as, as, as we can, this chart shows that back in 1967, if you would have invested one dollar into the quantum quantitative system, or if you would have invested that same dollar into the S&P, these are the results. The one dollar in the system, back tested through every market environment, would be worth over $1,200 today, and the one dollar would be worth about 15 bucks in the S&P. And what I'd like to show you now is this is just a basic sample trade. Um, for our members, we have uh, members that follow the quantum hedge fund and this is what they receive. After all of the filtrations, after all of the disciplines have been met and after the algorithms and rankings and, and everything that's happening 24-7, uh, this is the end product, a simple name and a symbol, and a price. That is it. At the end of the day, all the stuff happening behind the, the, the curtain comes to this. Um, this is a, just a trade we, 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 uh, we recently closed. Um, we have a full symbol company industry. The industry is important because we talk about our weighting and our balances with sec certain sectors and how we are not uh, prone to one simple sector. We balance the portfolio across the board for proper diversification. We also give a specific synopsis written by the managing director himself. So to show each and every member what exactly the process, 
seats, why Ab Abago Technologies Limited was or is an equity that we deem viable to put capital into, which at the end of the day is all that matters. So Abago Technologies Limited, here's the reason why all these things we've talked about today, uh, we put it into a very nice, tidy synopsis so each member can read and follow along. Um, so we publish this for our member, our, our members. Uh, here's another tray that I, we, I, I just pulled up earlier this year. This was obviously pretty, for a pretty large gain. Uh, now this trade, these, this trade was a, a trade that we, we knew we would be in for about 60 days. Um, however, we were in it for about 64 days, maybe a little longer, 65. Um, we made about a 44 and a little over 44 percent gain on. Um, some trades are 30-day turnarounds and other trades could be up to six months. It really depends on how that trade is performing and if it, if it is running in profits, we like to let it run um, and not sell, sh not sell it short. Uh, the trade before this, back to Avago Technologies, here's a trade that we entered in um, just earlier last month and we sold it about a month later. Now truly, uh, truth be told, this was a, a, an equity that we felt was going to take about 60 days to reach the 19% gain mark. That was in our research that we had on our desk um, before we pulled the trigger on this trade, uh, it reached that threshold uh, sooner than we thought. So that was obviously good, um, but that trade all along uh, the 19% was our target exit and we reached that quickly and, um, and we exited and published this trade for our members so they can, they can see that as well. Um, To contact us, um, we have a uh, we do have a, an, an advisory that we we hopefully some of this information will help you with your trading, your disciplines, your risk management, and whatnot. Um, you should be able to take a quantitative approach uh, uh, with your own trading um, if you just take a little bit of time to figure out values for for, for, for certain sectors and things that 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 you like to trade in. Um, but we do have a, a subscription that you can, you can uh, follow us um, where you have full detailed uh, trade ideas that we give out to our members with, with attached with the synopsis, um, annual, monthly, quarterly, and you know, plans we have available for each member. Uh, we started this, uh, offering this sort of service just a, a few years ago, um, which is really exciting for us. Normally we, we only deal with just very super high net worth individuals, um, but since we are the, basically the first fund I know of in the country that has scaled its quantitative system down because it is so adaptable that we are uh, now able to offer a, a service to the smaller everyday trader. Um, so they can follow along and further their quanta further their hedge fund experience, um, make more money, and further their curriculum and education so they can take this information and go on and become the best trader that they can become. Um, I do have an Excel spreadsheet here. Uh, I don't know how, how do I get back to my, there it is. Okay. Um, this is just a, let me go to the top here. These are the actual trade results um, that the, as we, as we um, go ahead and, and scale the system down, um, you can see just how accurate the results are. It's quite astounding. Um, it's kind of one of those things where it's very exciting to come to work because the system works, we stick to the system, we don't go off the system, 
and um, you can see that uh, we have some short positions. Obviously, as I stated earlier, mostly long um, with shorts. Red numbers are any sort of losses that the portfolio withstood, um, but all the rest are, are equities that were successful. And um, this chart goes up through uh, about February of this year. Um, and you can see that the proper balancing that we've talked about all along in all different sectors, all different, uh, all different areas. Um, now we do occasionally trade. Uh, we re-rotate the same equities. Um, that will never change. Equities are rising and falling. Um, so as our system detects rises and falls in, in ranks, we will continue to, to reposition funds or capital into those areas. But um, just wanted to show you guys uh, a basic um, Excel spreadsheet of the performance and what sort of equities uh, and how long we've been involved. These are years, September uh, 2011. That was obviously a one month hold, um, but uh, we don't put the days in there. I don't know why, but uh, anyway, so that's um, an Excel spreadsheet so you guys can see just, just how the system does over the course of the last several years. Uh, Mark is asking, so you recommend just buying or selling the stocks outright uh, that you recommend, or is that is what is mostly done by your members? Yes, outright. Um, now, some of our members have, uh, they use our information because they like to trade options. Um, so they take our, the information that we publish and they literally will implement that. Some members will just trade it exactly how we publish the information, which seems, which is what we control. Um, however, our other members are, are, have their own philosophies and they like to use us, um, our, our, our strategy or our picks to, to help them with their, with, uh, with their option trading or whatever it may be. Um, so we, we do, recommend that the, 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 the equities that we do post to trade the stock outright. The fund has been around since 1999. Um, it's been around for quite a while. Um, so 1999 was, was the, the inception date. Uh, and the algorithm um, that we have developed has started then and literally continues to progress and evolve um, as, as, as Good as it is today, um, the, 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 the rhythms that we implement every single, we, we, we focus on this because this is the core competency of our business, um, it, it continues to improve um, and it continues to tighten up and get better and better uh, almost week to week. Um, to actually learn more about what we are doing here, um, you can go to quantumhf.com quantumhf, as in hedge fund, dot com. Um, and uh, there's more information there. There's also quantumhf, uh, what is it, uh, dot com slash sales dash page dot html. So that's quantumhf dot com slash sales dash page dot html. All right. Another question uh, Mark is asking, on average, how many recommendations does Quantum have per month? We have about, it's, it's about five to eight trade ideas per month. It, it, it comes down to about one to two precise ideas each week. Um, a lot goes into the, the decision of each equity that we will publish for our members. So it is uh, very, very specific. Um, but it is, it's not a ton of trading. It is literally five to eight equities per month.
Uh, Yogi is asking, uh, what is the cost for being a member? Uh, the cost is, is well, we have several different options. Um, I think at this point the cost for one year is $19.97. Um, that's $1,997, uh, and I think it's $197 a month. And we have a quarterly option, and then we also have a two-year option. The quarterly option is $1,247, um, $1,247 each quarter, and then the, the two-year option is $69.97. Uh, what we do is we put together a guarantee that comes along with the actual, with our members, that once our members are, are in the system um, and following that uh, the trade results and the portfolio will be profitable. Uh, if it's not, we actually will refund the, the entire subscription fee to our members. Um, so that puts us on a, basically on a performance metric, which is, which is nice and, and our members have let us know that that's something they, they appreciate. Okay, uh, Yogi is asking to maximize the benefit, what account size is good to start? Yogi, we have members that have as little as thirty to forty thousand dollars in their trading accounts. Um, so you, you can, based on that, you can definitely work the program and be able to to generate returns on, on, on that kind of account size. We would like our members to have as much as they can, obviously everybody would. Uh, however, um, I, know, I know for a fact that we have uh, several members that are trading with, uh, with that amount, 30, 25, 30, $40,000 in that, in that range. Okay, uh, Mark said uh, please let Michael uh, know that um, he's thankful for answering all his questions. Um, and he follows up with a question, another question. He says, just out of curiosity, what is the minimum investment in the hedge fund? To the fund itself um, is, is the, the, for our fund specifically, you need at least $3 million of liquid capital um, to be able to invest. Uh, you have to fit certain financial profiles and and whatnot. So uh, three million is the minimum investment to uh, for 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 our fund. Okay, uh, Jim is asking, how do you hedge the down market? Michael, are you still there? We can't hear your microphone. I'm here. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if you uh, heard what I uh, just asked. Jim asked if uh, Jim asked how do you hedge the down market? How do we hedge the down market? Well, if if you listen to the uh, the uh, presentation, we have specific we have specific risk management principles that we put in place. Uh, regardless we, uh, for any market environment and if the market is any sort of down market those risk management principles are in place and they're designed specifically for that environment um, and we take into specific account market risk account risk and the actual trade risk um, and each one of those three has specific principles attached to those uh, with numerical value that are implemented into our quantitative system that manage any sort of downturn. Uh, it's quite remarkable be, because as there is a, it, there is a turn, uh, we're able to see it in front of us and, and the system itself is li literally flagging any sort of drop in rank or equities that are dropping uh, while uh, maybe other, other equities are rising. But um, as equities drop, we're able to, to systematically manage the portfolio and be able to Continue to, to continue to make it profitable. 
Okay, uh, Roxy is asking, uh, what price range are the stock selections? Are there any stocks in the twenty to forty dollar range? Very good question, Roxy, um, and that's something I did not touch upon. Uh, with this, this is very interesting with Quantum as opposed to the bigger fund. What we try to do um, as we are ranking the S&P 500 from, from the most favorable, which would be, let's say, that's you know, number one, to the least favorable equity, which would be 500. So you have a, right in front of you, you have a, a rank of one to 500. We are looking for specific characteristics in certain equities that, and we're really looking for equities that are trading less than $100. Um, and that equity might be sitting 70th on our ranking system. However, that equity might be a hundred, an $80 equity, but it's showing certain characteristics in its rise and fall that make us feel confident enough to pull that and publish it for our quantum members. So in other words, we try to, to give our members equities that are less than a hundred dollars. We're not necessarily buying the five, six hundred dollar stock. Um, for instance, right now one of our one of our equities is Rite Aid. I think Rite Aid is a five dollar five dollar and fifty cent stock. Um, uh, that's that's actually an equity in our portfolio today uh, for the quantum members. Um, so the price range we, we've also given equities that are two over two hundred. But I would say 80, 70 to 80 percent of the equities we publish are right around the $100 mark. 